2006 Toyota rear brake shoes and drum replacement. I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive and I'm gonna walk you through the steps of replacing those. Okay, the first step is to get your vehicle up in the air. Uh, if, you're use, if you're doing this at home, use floor jacks and jack stands and, get, and remove the rear wheels. After you get the rear wheels off, we need to remove these drums and sometimes they can get stuck, so I'm gonna show you a little technique of how to get them off. So what you're gonna need to do is get two bolts. They're gonna be eight by one, two, five threads. And then there's going to be a couple of holes in the drum that has threaded holes. You're going to screw those in. So what we're going to do is we're going to screw these in until the, the bead pops off here. So you're going to tighten the, the screws in equal amounts like this. And that will pull the drum free and you can slide the drum off. Now if the shoes are really badly uh, grinded, grounded up or, or have a lip on the inside, you may have to unadjust it from the back side. I have a video on how to remove a uh, stuck brake drum uh, on my website at howtoautomotive.com so if you guys run into that issue uh, I recommend you go to the, my website and check that video out. So after removing your brake drum, um, I, I recommend that you wash the, uh, the old brake parts off and I'm going to use soap and water in a little spray bottle like this or you can use brake clean in a, in a can like this but the soap and water works better because what it does is it, uh, it keeps it wet all the time and it reduces the amount of brake dust. So you're not breathing that stuff in and uh trust me it's very important that you don't breathe this stuff in i had i contracted uh throat cancer from most likely breathing this stuff in as you can see even a even with this a little bit of the brake dust is coming up so i like to spray it down and and uh, get everything really good and soaking wet and clean everything i also have a bucket underneath catching all this all the uh okay the now that the here. uh everything is good and wet um what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, the spring here You're and the spring tool here. that looks like this and that just goes over the cup and you push in and you'll turn a quarter turn and uh, until this flat spot lines up with the flat spot here and then the spring will come off. And I also put my finger behind, there's a pin in there, so I put my finger behind on the pin so it doesn't push through. So then I just do a quarter turn like I said and you take the spring off. So you're going to have a spring, a cup, and then there's going to be a cup on the inside here. You're going to pull that off too and set that all aside. So we're going to do that for both sides, like I said. And also the pins that go through, you can go ahead and pull them out. They look like this. So pull them out from the back side and set that aside. And try to keep the left and right side to um, separate it when you put them on your bench. And if you're new to brakes, I recommend you do one side at a time. Okay, so now you're going to take a long flat blade screwdriver like this and you're going to hook it under the brake, bottom brake shoe like this and you're going to hook it against the axle on the inside and you're going to pry like this and you're going to pry this little spring and lip out. So now that this shoe is pried out from behind the little lip right here, with this, uh, it comes in, now you can unhook the spring that was here. And you can take it off and set it aside. So we need to get this horseshoe clip off and why it's all together like this on the on the um, backing plate like this is the easiest time but you're gonna need a, a tool that looks like this they're um, they're designed to remove that so this little triangle edge will go in in here and then you'll put the other behind the stud like this and you'll squeeze it and it'll flare that it'll flare yeah, that you got it flared open a little bit now usually what I do is take a little flat blade screwdriver and put it in here and kind of give it a twist and pop it off the rest of the way. And also if you don't have that tool, you can actually use screwdrivers and kind of flare it. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but you can do it and remove that. So once you get it off, the clip will look like okay, this. So now that you got the bottom spring off and set aside, now what we need to do is on this lever here, this is what uh, operates the park brake. So when the, when the cable's pulled in the, inside the car, it pulls this and it pushes the pads, the shoes outwards towards the drum. Anyway, so we need to get this cable off. So this cable goes around here, and what we're gonna do is just take this side of the uh, brake shoes and pry it out from behind that lip tube. And now that adds slack in here, and then you can unhook it from right here. Just like okay, now that you've got the park brake shoe disconnected, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of flare the uh, shoes out, and uh, it's gonna drop off the uh, wheel cylinders here, so that's what you want. Now you're going to flare the shoes out like this and you're going to just kind of rotate the whole assembly off. So now like that, that the shoes are off the backing plate, 
I'm going to finish wiping this down and cleaning this up. And I'm just going to use that same soap and water technique, or you can use brake clean, whatever you, you like. And I'm going to clean everything up, and then I'm going to lube, put lubricant on a couple so spots. Now that the backing plates are all cleaned up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, grease design specifically for brakes. And this is called, it's called Seal Glide. And I'm going to take a few little, uh, little dabs of that, and I'm going to put it on these little notches right here on the backing plate here, here, and here. And then the same thing on the opposite side here, here, and here. And that's where the brake shoes itself ride. And I wanted to point out, uh, if you guys don't have brake grease like this, uh, don't use any type of grease. It has to be designed just for brakes. And um, if you don't have it, it's available at my website at howtoautomotive.com on the tools and product page. I recommend you checking that out. Okay, so now that the backing plate's all prepped and ready to go, we're going to uh, focus our attention on the rest of these shoes here in the springs. So what I do is I turn them up on the end like this, and I'll put one foot here, and I'll put my other foot on the other side and hold it with my feet, and I'm going to pull the shoes apart, and that'll stretch the spring out, and that'll pop the shoes so apart. when you're right done, up. the adjuster here will pop out like that. And you want to, um, so this is the, the front of the shoes. You want to make sure that you don't flip them upside down or anything. You want to keep it because this goes on a certain way. So uh, I like to set it aside like this. And in a minute, we're going to take this all apart and, and we're going to take this apart and clean it up and, uh, and make sure everything's working. Now, meanwhile, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over upside down like this. And we're going to go ahead and unhook the spring here and unhook the spring from the inside and set this aside. And we're going to take this spring off right here. And you're going to use like a pair, a pair of needle nose pliers and just pull it and unhook it. This spring unhook. And you're just going to pull this little uh, bracket here off and set it, just set it aside for a second and take the spring, set it aside. Now you're going to flip your, uh, your other shoe over and you're going to take the arm off for the, uh, the park brake adjuster and the cable here. Set that aside. Now you're going to get your new shoes and match them up. Now that the, um, you got your new shoes and they're matched up, so you want to make sure that the uh, studs are like that and also the, the bracket here has a little stud. We'll make sure those all match up. Now you're going to take and put a little bit of that seal glide grease and you put it right here on, on the um, around it and you're going to slide your arm back on and then you're going to put your um, go ahead and install the uh, horseshoe washer. So you'll slide it on the groove and then you'll squeeze it with a pair of pliers together. So it'll look like that. Next you're going to take the bracket that looks like this and you're going to put the little the ear like it looks like that. You're going to hook it through the hole right there. And at the same time, you're going to put the uh, put it over the stud like that. Now, after you get that on, you're going to put the spring on. So you're going to hook it in the hole, and then hook it into the hole so there. We're going to install this spring. So if you if you look at the hash mark here, uh, you got you want this side to go under under like this, and this side to go over and hook right here. And we're also doing the pass or the driver side. So I want to point now that out. Now we're ready to reinstall the ingester the adjuster but before we do that we need to take it apart and clean it up so what I'm going to do is take the take the slide this portion of it off take the washer off slide it off and we're going to screw the, unscrew this until it comes out until it comes completely apart and then we're going to clean the threads up and we're going to put a little lubricant so you're going to screw it all the way apart like this and it's backwards thread so so you're actually going to screw it right to take it out so once you get it up, uh, taken apart, you can go ahead and clean this up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put a small dab of this little uh, grease on the threads. So that you're going to screw it back together, but you're going to screw it all the way in until it's bottom that it's screwed back. in. Then you can take a little bit of the grease and you can put it on the on the, this portion of it. And after you got that looped up, you can put your washer back on, and then you can put your this portion of it slide it back on. Now we need to take the adjuster here and reassemble it back into the shoe. The side with the uh, thicker part here is going to go towards the um, the park brake uh, lever here, and this side is going to go this way. Now going back together, it's going to be a little easier because we adjusted it all the way in, so it's not going to be as tight. So you're going to slide it in like so. What you do is you kind of cock the shoes like this, and then you're able to slide this in there, and then you're able to with one hand hold the shoes here, and this hand kind of rotate it upwards, and that'll pop into place. So when you're done, it'll look like that. Now what we're going to do is take this, um, 
if your uh, cable fell off like this, you can go ahead and uh, flip it back over. And uh, this part here, uh, screw, it just slips behind this little lever here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, just the way we took it off, how we flared it open and, and put it, uh, took it off, we're going to basically flare it back open and rotate it back onto the... Uh, you're going to take your assembly like this and kind of flare it open. And you just kind of rotate it around behind the axle like that. And if that little cable just popped off, don't worry about it. You can just slip it back on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the the, uh, the side with the uh, adjuster here. And we're going to use our fingers and push the piston in a little bit. Put it in and then pop just behind the, the lip right here. Now that's in there. Now with your other hand, you basically you're going to push your, your finger, you're going to push the piston in towards that side and you're going to slide this shoe up until it slides into the, uh, the slot of the, uh, of the wheel cylinder here. And you have to flare the bottom out towards it, opening it up a little bit and that helps slide it up in place. So now what I'm going to do is take the pin that goes like this slide it back through the back side and this on the uh, the front shoe here towards the front of the car and I'm gonna slide the washer on you have to line up the little slot then I'm gonna put the spring on and the other washer and then I'm gonna use my tool and I'm gonna try to line everything up as close as I can then you take your tool and you press it on, you compress the spring. At the same time, you have to reach around the back of the backing plate and you have to use your finger to hold the pin in place. And then you'll line everything up, push, twist, a half turn, and that locks it into place. And you also want to look at it and make sure that it's, it's all locked in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the now lower the, spring. Uh, this side of the shoe is secure. We need to put the park brake cable back on. And mine fell off like this one, uh, while working on it, so I'm just going to hook it back, hook it back on, like so, and pull it, pull it through. So now we need to hook the cable back onto the little lever here. And um, the way I'm going to do that is, since I've already put it back on there, I'm just going to pull it out like that and pull it towards you a little bit, and that gives you a little bit more slack. And then you can reach around the back like this, and you can hook it. Hook it on, hook it on like that. And now you gotta make sure that it's underneath this little these, this little uh, bracket here. And now that it's resecured like that, now you can take it and kind of flare it back and put it back behind the little notch there. So we're gonna put the lower spring on first, like this, and then hook it like that. And then we're gonna use our screw. So once the spring is on and hooked together like that, and the, everything is still lined up with the wheel cylinders, everything. Now what you're going to do is take your long flat blade screwdriver like you used earlier and you're going to hook it behind the brake shoe like this and hook it behind the axle and you'll use the screwdriver to pry the, the shoe over and you'll slip it behind the little groove like that. Then you'll take the screwdriver and you'll pull the spring down and you'll hook it underneath like that. Now you can take your shoes if, it, if they slid up or down you can, you can tap it to line everything back up. After that's lined back up you're going to put the pin back through the backing plate and back through. Then you're going to put the washer the spring back. and then the outer washer and you're exactly the same way as you put this one on. So after I get that last spring on, what I do is I give a, a, a little tap up or down on the shoe to center it. And you just want to make sure that the uh, wheel cylinder is centered in the wheel cylinder on the left and right side. And then after that we're going to put the drum on and we're going to adjust the brake out. Back of the uh, backing plate we're going to pop this little rubber plug off. And we're going to slide the drum on and uh, we're going to adjust we're installing the your new drum i recommend you take brake clean and wash the brake drum they come with this oil that's on it when in packing and shipping and it prevents them from rusting on the shelves and stuff so you want to wash all that oil off and you can also use soap and water hot warm soap and water and wash this all off so i recommend you do that and then slide the drum on so after sliding the drum on, you can the, the, it's gonna be way loose. So what I recommend is you just pull the drum back off and then adjust it. So in this case, it's, it's gonna be with the, the nodes of the uh, screwdriver down and you're gonna crank it upwards and that's gonna adjust it. 
adjust it a few clicks because we adjusted it all the way in so it's going to be way out of adjustment so we're going to get it where it's kind of in the ballpark and then we'll put the drum back on and kind and then uh, do our final adjustment from the back side so i'm going to adjust up you know quite a few clicks because it's way way under adjusted and get us in the ballpark here and then i'll slide the drum back on and uh, you'll be able to feel you want it to be kind of semi-close so after adjusting it quite a few clicks, you'll put the drum back on. And as you put the drum on, you can tell if it just goes on super, super easy, you know it's still way out of adjustment. So I'm gonna adjust it a few more times until I get it in the, uh, in the, the drum is back on and it's in, uh, adjusted up to it in the ballpark. We're gonna do the final adjustment through the hole in the back. So I'm gonna use my, my flat blade screwdriver and as you can see the, the, uh, the little teeth on the uh, adjuster wheel there. So you're going to slide your screwdriver in there and you're going to adjust it and uh, you're going to adjust it until you have a light drag on the on the road on the drum itself so as you put it on there you, with both hands you'll try to turn the drum left and right and you'll want to feel basically the inner shoes just barely touching the uh, the drums on the outside and once you get it like that you don't want to over adjust it where, where it won't move at all and you also want to make sure the car is in neutral when you when you're checking the adjustment um, so you want to adjust it up until it just starts to drag. And then what I like to do is uh, lower the vehicle back down and pump the brake pedal a few times. And that kind of helps center the shoes again. And then I'll recheck my adjustment and see if it needs further adjusting. So after getting the rear brakes adjusted, um, if you open the bleeder screws or anything like that for any reason, then you would have to bleed the brakes. But if you didn't uh, open the bleeder screws like I did on this job, you should not have to bleed the brakes. And if the pedals adjust it uh, up properly, you'll also have a nice firm brake pedal. And that'll complete the rear brake shoes and drum replacement on a 2006 Toyota Tundra. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I encourage you to subscribe and invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.